Connor, what did you make of the offseason deal between uh, Edmonton and Calgary? Obviously disappointing to see a, a good friend in Luch go. Um, he was someone that I got close with on the team. Um, you know, great guy, uh, great family as well. Um, you know, definitely going to miss them, but um, you know, Neely's got a lot of upside. You know, he's a guy who's won a lot in this league. He scored a lot in this league. Um, you know, obviously a down year last year, but you know, he's training up at Gary's and, and you know, he's, he's working as hard as I've ever seen him work. So um, that's good to see. What kind of conversations have you had with Tippett so far? I'm assuming he's reached out to you. Yeah, we had a dinner um, a couple weeks ago, and it was good. You know, nothing, uh, nothing too serious. Good enough to make the playoffs this year? So we're working towards, obviously. Um, you know, we're still super early. I mean, we haven't even got together yet, so um, you know, we made some changes, and, and hopefully that works. Is the, have you seen the Blues go from like? last plays in January 1st when he was nailing up. Is that, what does that tell you about the league and just kind of like where Edmonton's at and how quick the turnaround can happen? Well, there's so much parity in the league. Um, you, know, you look at each and every night, it's it's not a guarantee any team's going to win. Um, you know, so I think that's that's where we're at. Obviously, they go from last to winning the cup. You know, that says a lot about them. It says a lot about our league. So, um, you know, turnarounds can happen quick, and that's what we're hoping for. Are you the type that you watch the whole playoffs, or is it too painful or do you want to try to get away? Like... Uh, I watch here and there. Um, you know, I'm definitely not there every night watching, but you know, when I have a, have a minute, I'll, uh, I'll sit down and watch a game. And playoffs were entertaining. They were good. Um, it was uh, you know, hard hockey, and, and um, you know, I would say probably the, the hottest team in the second half won, obviously, and you know, that's, what, that's what happens. You need to peak at the right time. When you, you face Bennington at this before, uh, did it surprise you? You know, just his the way he rocketed up uh, since January. Not really. Um, you know, I think all he needed was an opportunity. Um, you know, he was. Uh, um, you know, I've, like I said, I've been able, to, like you said, I've been able to play against him a couple times here, um, and each and every year you've just seen him progress, and and um, you know now he's a Stanley Cup champ. So it's uh, all the credit to him. Players kind of opt out of the, of the, the CBA you know, in the next few weeks. As a young player starting this league, how important is it for younger guys to be involved in the next negotiation whenever it happens, if it's soon or if it's in a couple years? Uh, it's very important. Um, you know, we're the guys that it's going to affect the most. You know, we're going to be the players that are, are here throughout the CBA, the, the next CBA. So you know, we got to be able to step up and come together and, and come to an agreement that, that works for both sides. And um, I'm sure we'll be able to do that. How important are the young guys, the Oilers, going to be this year? I don't know who's going to be making the team out of camp, but uh, is that going to be sort of maybe the difference maybe when those guys can kind of come in and actually help out? Uh, we, we, have, we have so many so many new players. We have lots of competition at, at camp. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be whoever steps up and takes the job. I don't know who it will be, and it doesn't really matter as long as, as – uh, as they can play and, and they're good to go. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited about the new additions and, and excited about um, you know, where the young guys are at. Um, yeah. Who do you make with so many young RFAs still inside Marner, Ranton, and the list goes on? I mean, the young guys are getting getting paid earlier. What, what do you just make of that, how that sort of changed the landscape of the league? Uh, yeah, it's obviously a, a unique situation where there's a lot of star players um, that are sitting out right now. So um, I think it'll just take one domino to fall, and then they'll all, they'll all fall pretty quick. But you know, someone's going to have to set that mark. And um, like I said, there's lots of good players there. Why was it important for you to get yours done so far in advance of the dead? Because <laughs> I didn't want to be sitting here and not going to training camp. Yeah. So. Um, now, that was my biggest fear, honestly. I didn't want to be in this situation, in that situation. Um, and ultimately, it was, it, was, it was a pretty easy deal. Um, you know, Peter at the time was, was great to work with, and, and you know, my agent obviously did a great job as well. So um, it was a quick process. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't anything that uh, we needed to wait over. Was a bridge deal or something? Did you more guys at the time? Like, was this a bridge deal, you know, something that maybe would have made sense, or was it always one of long term? At that time. No, I was never going to do a bridge deal. I'm going to say Andrew's probably throwing a curveball into things, but what have you been focused on this offseason and moving forward?